What's up, everybody? Brendan Sat 157 Today, I'm going to show you how to use a few tools to edit and modify EUP for 5M. It's really simple. I'll link all the stuff down below, and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So stick around. All right, the first thing we're going to do is open up our browser, and we're going to head over to GTA 5 Mods, and we're going to download OpenIV. Of course, you click it here, and it would download. And once you download it, install follow the directions and it should look like this once it's installed correctly and ready for use. Uh, the second tool you want to get is a bulk rename utility tool. This is another free tool. Um, I, like I said, the links will be down below bulk rename utility.com.co.uk slash download dot PHP. Anyway, you again, click here, follow the install directions and it's going to look like this and I'm going to show you how to use it. So don't be scared. It's not as bad as it looks. And the last tool you're going to want to grab is Dirty Cloth Tool. Now, there are free versions of this floating around out there. I am someone who believes in paying people for the product they've produced. So I went the right way. You go to gta.clothing. It's going to bring you here. And you get started for free. You, down, you click the download. It's going to take you to a Patreon. It's like a $15 lifetime's license. And it's worth every nickel. Um, I bought the actual version. I don't do bootleg. But once you get that installed, it's going to look like this. So now that you've got the proper things installed, let's head over somewhere with free EUP like LCPDFR. Let's let's do this. Vest and earpiece. All right. So once you're over here, I'm just going to download this file. If it doesn't start downloading right away, just give it a second, and there it goes. Shouldn't take too long to download. All right, once it downloads, you're going to see it in a zip file. Just open that up, drag it right onto your desktop to extract it. All right, so now that you've got that, the first thing you want to do is open up OpenIV, drag it in here. Open the files. You can kind of look at what you got here because, you know, sometimes you, you want to make sure it's something you want before you spend a lot of time editing. Oh, those aren't bad. But what if I wanted this to say like Los Santos Police? That's another video that I'll make to show you how to actually edit textures. But for right now, we're just going to look at renaming and assigning these to a package. So, all right, they look good. So let's open up that bulk rename utility. All right. So you just want to open up the files. Uh, say you want vest one, set up one. Go ahead and drag these over into here. Uh, we're going to also just say we take vest four, set up one. grab seven all right so now that we've got these in here you're thinking what do we do now all right so you can see there they just start with task so there's nothing identifying them so let's just say we want to just name them something type in here what you want to name them um i'm gonna just call it youtube vid let's see YouTube underscore vid underscore EUP. That's what we're going to call it. All right. So you click there. That's going to prefix. Make sure all of these are highlighted as well. If you don't, it's only going to do a couple, you know, whatever might be clicked on. So I'm doing a prefix ad here because I want to name these a specific thing. So these are going to go into a YouTube vid EUP task folder. And let's find the path for that. I can just click here, copy, paste it in here, and it's going to rename it and it's going to save it to our file. All right, sweet. All right, so once we got a rename, we're going to bring it over here. And now you can see instead of just saying task with the numbers behind it, they actually have a name. They're assigned to a PED, the MPM free mode 01. And they also, I named them YouTube vid EUP. 
that way I could remember what I was doing because it's for a YouTube video, right? So, all right. So now we want to open up dirty cloth. All right. Since I only did for a male, you're going to click this. First thing it's going to do is tell you to send it to a project. So we're going to call this YouTube underscore vid underscore EUP. I'm the author. We're going to put Brendan Sat 157 version one. And that's optional. Both of those are optional. I always like to do it though, so I know it's something that I've done. And don't forget to select a folder. And we're just going to go to YouTube vid. And that's going to be where we're going to save it. And you can just close this out. All right. So once we get to this screen uh, with the dirty cloth, we're ready to go. We've got our file set up that it's going to send to. And again, we're just doing mail for the sake of time on this one. So you're going to go add files. You're just going to highlight and open. Dirty cloth is going to take care of the rest. I'm going to take it a second to load. And you can see all three of them have a texture over here. All right, so once you've got these ready to go, and you can see that all their textures are over there. Let's actually check this error list. There's no warnings. You're just getting a yellow flag there. All right, so once you've got these all ready to go, just hit Build Project, 5M Resource, and we're calling these YouTube underscore vid underscore EUP. We've already got our folder put, so we're just going to hit build. Bam, 5M resource successfully built. Once you open the folder, you'll see that it's written in FX manifest. It's got your meta file and it's ready to go. And those are ready to go right into your game. What we'll do is we'll pull up OpenIV again. And we're just going to drag that file in. And there you go. You can actually add the textures and check it out. Bam. Looks like I grabbed three of the better ones, to be honest with you. This is a good looking vest. But anyway, that was just a quick run through. Like I said, I'm going to link the products uh, down below. And uh, if you guys liked it, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me for some more stuff. I'm going to be doing these kind of things to help people out um, because this is something I just learned. Uh, about a year and a half ago how to do and I handle a lot of servers EUP and liveries and stuff now so I'm going to try to make a series to help you learn because actual people that helped me on YouTube was very scarce a lot of bad advice a lot of people telling you to download bootleg stuff and I mean if somebody puts the work into something I think they should be rewarded for it at least I should buy the product that they're selling you know because that's how the world works. Somebody's offering a service, you pay for it. You don't steal it. So I'm showing you the right way to do things without stealing things. Not knocking anybody who does it differently. It's just not my cup of tea. But anyway, click like, click subscribe. In the next part, I'm going to show you how to edit textures and upload them. And we might even get into some livery stuff too pretty soon. So anyway, follow my channel. See you guys soon.